Hi folks, this is Vicki at PatternPrincess.com. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm just getting over a cold, so I have a little bit of a scratchy throat. Um, I am doing a new uh, shawl. This is going to be a rectangular shawl, kind of a scarf. And so far I've used, oh gosh, about half the skein of yarn. This, um, this yarn is from Hobby. It's color number 107. And this is a fine number two yarn. I am using a size H crochet hook. That's my crochet hook. <clears throat> and um, I'm going to go until the skein is out. We'll see how long it is. Um, I believe that this stitch pattern here is called Feather and Fan. And I've been a, I've been a fan of this for, for years. Um, hopefully I'm going to show it. I'm going to try and show you a little bit closer how beautiful this is. Isn't that just gorgeous? It's nice and lace, nice and light and lacy, and just has a such a lovely stitch appearance. It's like a chevron, but it's open and lacy. It's like a wavy. It's like, it's like you go down to the valley here, and you come up into the wavy peak here. And so this is it's a simple once you get started, and once you have your counting down. <clears throat> It's a two-row repeat. It's very easy to achieve, um, but you have to count because I've had to rip all stitches a few times because I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing, and then I end up having to redo it. I'm just showing you where I'm at right now. I will have a different video on how to do the stitch right from the um, chain stitch all the way through, but I thought you might like to see me working on this shawl itself. Sometimes it's nice to see, I think, in the, in the yarn that... Um, you might be using. So I'm going to chain four, two, three, four, and then I'm going to yarn over twice because I'm going to do four treble crochets right in that stitch, that first stitch. It would actually be like the fifth chain from the hook. Okay, so I'm going to do, oh, and I missed that second loop. There we go. Yarn over, come through two loops, yarn over through two loops, and yarn over through two Whoop. Yeah, sure. I'd tell you that and then I'd goof it up. Two loops. Okay, so there's one. Yarn over. I'm going to go through again. It's because I'm pulling out kind of funny because I want to make sure you can try and see it. Yarn over twice again. And we're going in for the third stitch. Two, three. You should have, instead of doing a double crochet where you pull through two loops and pull through two loops and done, you're going to do that three times. So we now have our four chain stitches and then our three treble crochet. We're going to do it another time here for our fourth. One, two, three. Yarn over twice. And then the next stitch, we're going to do one treble crochet. Yarn over twice. Skip the next stitch. And then we're going to do a treble crochet and we're going to repeat that eight more times. So that's one. I should say seven more times. Skip and then we're going to do another one. Two. Skip and another one. Three. Yarn over twice. Skip a stitch. The next one we work a treble. Skip a stitch. Five, I believe. I'm going to make sure I count just before I do my peak. Skip a stitch. So there should be six. Skip a stitch. Seven. And I should have one more. Make sure I untangle my yarn. Yarn over twice. Skip a stitch. And I go right here. Now we're going to count. <clears throat> so we had our first ones here at first. It ends up to be five um, treble crochet and then one in the next stitch. And then we count. We should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we do. Yarn over twice. And we should end up on the top of the peak. Then we're going to go to the next stitch and do five treble crochet in with that stitch. There's one. Two, three, 
asking <clears throat> for and that should be five and I always got to make sure I pull it apart because remember we had that stitch right in the the treble crochet right in that stitch before so then I got to look and see that there's five so I'm going to yarn over again twice in the next stitch, do five more. One, two, oh, two, three, four. And then there's five. And then we just repeat that pattern that we just did. We have our treble crochet in the next stitch and then we start our skipping. And then we start our where we skip one and treble crochet into the next. We do that eight times now. And skip one. So here we go. And then when we get to the peak, we do our two sets of five. Oops. Treble crochet. I almost did it in the same stitch and didn't skip. So that's what I get when I talk. So then the next row is all you're going to do is I do a single crochet. <clears throat> so I do a turning chain and then I do a single crochet in each stitch. And that's all that there is to the next row. So this is me working on this feather and fan pattern and I'm just loving it. And I hope you will too once I get this all posted and written and videos all done. But as you can see, I can make I'm making pretty quick progress. I got I'm almost halfway done with this row with this row. And now I'm going to end up doing my peaks over here. Um so make sure um to double check in the I was gonna say in the description. Um, I will have links to the full video on how to do this right from the chain stitching. And um, of course, the pattern by the time that I post this will be free on the website. Thank you and have a wonderful day.